On Wednesday, the TSSAA opted to delay voting on a contingency plan for the 2020 high school football season due to the pandemic. Teams still unable to hold contact practice or work as a large group, but are having to prepare for the potential of an August 21st start date. Now, despite the changes and lack of clarity, WATE's Jordan Kramer found out this afternoon at Media Day that area coaches are just grateful right now to be back with their teams. We are living in a time where there are more questions than answers as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, making today's high school football media days a little ironic as we have very few answers regarding the fate of the 2020 high school football season. But as I spoke with coaches this afternoon, both veterans to the profession and first time coaches alike, I saw a lot of humility in not knowing and also admittance that this pandemic has brought about a new perspective they didn't know they needed. We've been away from them since March and and you, you know, you missed them, but it wasn't until you got back around your team where you really realized how much you appreciate these young men, how much you care for them, how much you want to see them succeed. And uh, it, it was kind of an eye opener for me. It's allowed a coach like me um, who sometimes gets our priorities out of line to hit the reset button and remember, um, you know, what's most important in life. And so I think that it's kind of renewed at least my energy when we come back to football. It's sort of cliche and we've talked to, to kids in the past, but this could be your last game. This could be your last practice. Well, that's real life. I mean, we tell them every day this could be the last day you get together as a team. And we don't know that and just not taking anything for granted. One of the things that impressed me the most when speaking with coaches was the ways that they found to communicate with their players when they weren't permitted to do so on the practice field, whether that be huddle, Zoom, FaceTime, social media, anything that they could do to stay connected. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Jordan Kramer, WATE6 on your side. All right, Jordan, thank you. And we're going to have more from today's high school football media day for you coming up tonight at 6. Well,